many times in class we were asked questions that weren't stated and they weren't apparent, but they required another level of understanding, some, some deep thought. So you weren't required just to read a case. You were, you were required to really understand why the litigants brought the case and what the judge was trying to get to in the opinion. I think the biggest idea I left with, or the biggest concept, was never to take an argument at face value. And it's really to look beyond the headline and we used to say in law school, don't be a headnote lawyer, because a lot of cases start with the headnotes, the summaries of what the result is going to be. And it was really to go beyond um, what you saw as the headline and to understand the underlying dynamics, because usually they might tell you a different story. Or they might lead you to a different outcome. I also have a great memory of Professor Baird, who at one point was Dean Baird. On our first day of law school, there was a list outside of one of the classrooms of your uh, faculty advisors. I think I'm the only person in the school's history to actually follow up with a faculty advisor. I went to Dean Baird's office and introduced myself. He also happened to be my civil procedure professor, but since he was my assigned advisor, I thought I'd see him. And uh, we quickly uh, developed a relationship where once a quarter we'd go to the quad club and talk about school, talk about career opportunities, talk about his work, and just talk about burning issues in the law. At one point I took a group of friends over and he cooked for us, played us some opera, and showed us artwork. I bump into University of Chicago classmates in every walk of what I do, um, and it is always a reminder of where we've come from, but it's also a reminder of how much we're achieving, whether it's at the Justice Department or at the White House, um, Department of Transportation. Uh, people are giving back in so many different ways. Uh, and it's one of the areas that I'm most proud of to see so many people doing public service uh, on behalf of their cities and states as well as uh, the national government.